Right, hello everybody and welcome to the Geek Lab. The floor of the Geek Lab, uh, because here we have, once again, the Sun and Microsystems Ultra 60 Creator 3D, which has come out of industry and is now residing in my house. Oh, and uh, because this is night time and we're actually in a live show, the live show's over there. Well, I've got muted at the moment, so it doesn't, this doesn't disturb the video. Um, I've got some rum and coke. This is a first. I think I've only... Uh, the only alcohol I've ever drunk on the show before is wine, so... Right. So, when we first got this, I had no operating system. We've managed to get the operating system installed. We've installed it a new EEPROM. Well, a refurbished EEPROM, uh, courtesy of Rob Hewitt. So thank you very much, Rob, that, for that, Rob. We've got a new EEPROM with its battery installed. It now... Managed to, manages to hold its uh, MAC address. Uh, if you need advice on uh, setting up a MAC address, uh, drop us a note. Because I'm not going to show you on this one because it does it anyway. It's guarded by a minion. There we go. <laughs> and what we're going to do on this one is get this home networked. Now these weren't obviously designed for home networking. So we're going to have to set it up uh, a bit differently than you would normally. So what we're going to do first of all is basically unconfigure it, go through the network configuration and then we're going to go come back into the desktop, play with some files, change those files so that it boots off of a home network which has different uh, network standards than this would be expecting. They're a bit lower to be honest. So what we're going to do is go through that now. So I'm going to change the camera angle for the screen and uh, I'll show you how to start and hopefully this will work. It did last time. So let's uh, let's start shall we. Right, the first thing we need to do to set one of these up on the network is to open the terminal window. So if we right click, open terminal. There we go. Get a nice terminal window. Now we need to make sure that we are logged on to root. This is shown by a little hash there. Okay, and I'll zoom in a bit. Sorry for any flicker, that can't really be avoided. So what we're going to do, now we're in the terminal window, is type in sys dash, oh, sorry, that one, dash, unconfig. And um, what this will do, doink, if you hit enter, warning, this program will unconfigure your system. That's basically what it's doing, it's changing the basic configuration of the networking of the system. So you want to continue? Yes we do. Oops. And what this will redo, what will this redo? What this will do, hopefully, is boot the computer, take a while. It will reboot the computer and bring us into the Solaris uh, configuration tool, which is what it's doing now. So we'll wait for that to happen and we'll come right back. Right, uh, I've missed a bit out there, because obviously it takes a while, but it will go back to your OK prompt, drop out to the Windows system, go back to your OK prompt, and all you do is type in boot disk. That will completely reboot the system. Uh, as it comes back up, mine goes back to the OK prompt with a Trap 3E error. This is because uh, the system is too fast for the hard drive. Uh, so it doesn't recognize it in time so all I redo is type in the boot disk again and after a bit of clicking and usual slow stuff we come up to the first of the configuration windows so for me it's obviously English uh, select locale for English and it's doing its stuff That bit is a bit of sucking eggs, but uh, it gets better, so uh, once it's got to the next screen, we'll be right back. Okay, 30 seconds or so later, we are at the main start of it. Uh, now this is network connectivity screen, obviously this is going to be a network system, so we want it networked, yes. So F2 to continue. Uh, you can change your selection by moving the uh, arrow keys and pressing the spacebar, but in this case, F2 because it's already set. Now, DHCP, we want DHCP support, so yes, space to change, F2. 
Now IPv6 for HME, do we want this enabled? And the answer is no. We do not wish to have this enabled, so it's already set. F2 to continue. Confirm selection, allows you to review your selection so far. And press F2 and it will start to configure itself, which will take a few moments. So, oh no, there we go. So I'm straight on. So, next screen. Uh, configure security policy, configure the Kerberos security. And to that is no. F2. Confirm that. F2. And it will start doing some more stuff. Right, the name service. The name service for this is none. Okay, and F2 can turn to continue. I have to look at my notes and I got a bit lost. Okay, uh, NFV4 domain configuration. Use the NFV4 domain derived by the system. Mm, we want to specify F2 and domain name is RGVX or whatever you want. Okay, F2 continue. Uh, we're now just setting where we live and in my case Europe and the Queen's own place oh, Europe Western Ooh. and the year uh, it's now got a battery so we can set up month it's the we'll leave that for now sort that out later and there we go confirm it changes yes to yes please and we can now enter password F2 uh, no we don't want system to conserve energy and I don't want you to remind me either system to ask you about this no I don't want to okay it's now going to reboot and then we'll continue the installation so we'll be right back Right, minutes later, and uh, we're back. The uh, We've logged back on, and the terminal window is open. So what I'm going to do, because I'm going to be editing files and stuff, can I enlarge this? I'm going to zoom in a little bit for you, so we can see what we're doing. Again, apologies for any flickering. Can't really be avoided. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit. Just look at my notes here. Uh, one, two, uh, three, four files get this set up to work with the home network. So first one we're going to do, what we're going to do, we're going to change directory so that's cd space splash splash sas there yeah, slash <laughs> and the directory is etc so cd etc okay all right good you can see that okay now I'm going to edit a file called auto home so to edit we type in vi and space auto underscore home and there's the file. Now what we're doing, as you'll see, is if you look down the list, there's a hash line there. And that's already set on mine. So, uh, auto home. Yep. Yeah. So what you need to do, that's already set on mine. But this normally has a plus sign. So what you'd have to do is press the I key and then enter the hash which is already there on mine and then press escape and either put the caps lock on or use a shift key and press Z Z that will get you back out so if I go escape uh, go shift Z Z go back to the command line at the bottom there and I'm going to talk you through these although they are set on mine already because I've already done this Second file we're going to look at is auto master. So if we go vi space auto master, and there it is. Now on a fresh file, just zoom up for you. The three lines here will not have hashes at the beginning, so you need to hash them out. So you go down to each line. Press the I key to edit, type the hash, press escape. 
go down to the next line, I key to edit, type the hash, press escape. Next line, repeat the same, press escape, and then shift ZZ will get you back out of the file down to the bottom. Now, that's the second one. The third file is an S switch. So, what we do is type VI, which is the editor, nsswitch.oh, we're getting a bit of blur there. There we go. I don't want that. nsswitch.conf. There we go. I'll put these up as annotations so you can see what we're editing. And there's the file. Now, what we need to do on this one. Hang on, I shall be right back. I need to research this one a bit more. Hang on. Right, this one has already been edited on mine. I just have to remind myself what I do. So, what you'll do is go down to this host line here and then go to the end, press the A key. I'll bring you to the end of this file. Press the A key, that'll allow you to edit. Press space and then type in DNS and then press escape shift ZZ and that will get you back out of that one and now onto the last file okay the last file you're going to edit and you'll see a bit more advanced stuff because I've already uh, sorted this out here because I've had a few problems but uh, vi resolve.conf I'll put this up on the screen so you can see and all we're doing you'll see two lines on an original file uh, just go to the beginning of each line, type DD, and then next line DD. Get rid of those two and then type in, well, press I and then type in name server, which you can see. Oh, come here. There we go. Name server, and then you want the IP number of your router, which is available from IP config on your PC. Or if you type in ifconfig, these are both on the screen so you can see because I'm nice, uh, on the sun you should see it. Obviously don't do that inside the file, escape from the file, do that and come back. Okay, so once you've done that, press escape, zz, escape zz, shift zz, sorry, escape, shift zz, and you're out. And to test this, go to the bottom of the screen. As you probably saw, all you do is you choose a website. So ping, and I'm going to go for google.com. And it should say google.com is alive. So once that's done, we can do this. Uh, apparently, this may go wrong. Firefox space ampersand. That should boot Firefox. Here it's making noises, although it has. Uh... There we go. And Firefox. Let's see what happens. Would you like to make it my default browser? No, I would not. Oh, yes, I would. Sorry. Duh. And. Zillow.org. Wait for Google Analytics. There we go. And if we type in. Uh, sun. Oh, let me see there. Some microsystems uh, ultra 60. For some reason, until you update your browser, uh, that text box doesn't work properly. So you've got to use it at the top. And do a search. And there we go. The Sun Ultra 60 is now back online. And it's that easy. <laughs> I shall try and type up a guide and put it down below. So you've got step by step on how to do this. Well, there you go, that's how to Altru Network. Sun Ultra 60 on a home network. So we can now do uh, install other stuff. So thank you very much.
Any questions, uh, let me know. And I'll seek advice. <laughs> Thank you very much. You need to quit being dirty. You're a dirty boy. <laughs>